some of the really exciting research that we've been doing is trying to understand how infection and inflammation impact the brain. And I've been working on brain infection and inflammation for a long time now. And I think when the COVID pandemic came around, many of us thought there might be brain complications from it. And it, indeed, it became very apparent very early on from many of our patients and the wider public that many were suffering with cognitive or thinking disorders. And there were really two camps about why this was happening. One that said it was purely psychological, depression, anxiety, PTSD from the effects of the pandemic. And another that said it was purely biological and some sort of immune neurodegenerative process happening in the brain. And really what our research showed was that when we followed these people up, even a year or a year and a half after discharge from hospital, they did have objective deficits in their cognitive, in their cognition, in their thinking. Um, and these correlated with structural changes on their brain MRI scans, and also crucially the detection of brain injury proteins in their blood, even at this late time point. But these same biological changes, if you will, also correlated with depression and anxiety scores. So these two things are really interlinked. And this is very much a paradigm shift in the way we think about the complex interaction of brain and mind disorders, particularly in the context of an insult like infection and inflammation, and really changes the way we think about both diagnosing and treating these patients going forwards. Because our study found that the brain structural changes were equivalent to match controls who were 20 years older. So really, this is a real opportunity for us to better understand that brain-mind interface and the neuroscience immune interface um, to think about how we move forward this field of neuroscience.